Hello everyone, I'm Miss Davina and welcome to Play K. Let's go ahead and start with our welcome song. Ready? I'm glad you came today. I'm glad you came today. Hello, hello to everyone. I'm glad you came today. We're glad we came today. We're glad we came today. Hello, hello to everyone. We're glad we came today. We'll work and play today. We'll work and play today. Hello, hello to everyone. We'll work and play today. That was wonderful. Everybody help me out with that for our new friends that are joining us for the first time. Ready? Let's all sing together. I'm glad you came today. I'm glad you came today. Hello, hello to everyone. I'm glad you came today. We're glad we came today. We're glad we came today. Hello, hello to everyone. We're glad we came today. We'll work and play today. We'll work and play today. Hello, hello to everyone. We'll work and play today. That was wonderful. Thank you so much for helping me sing my welcome song. Welcome, everybody, and this is Play K. Today, we'll get a chance to practice kindergarten, and that's the one thing that all you boys and girls have in common. You're all going into kindergarten, so that's so exciting. What a fun time to be starting um, in your lifetime. You're getting to go to kindergarten. That's so wonderful. One of the things that we're going to learn about kindergarten is there are a lot of different rules and every classroom teacher has their own set of rules but some of them are going to be very similar and common around all the different types of classrooms you might be in. To in. So when the first thing we're going to practice is when we are sitting in circle time we need to sit crisscross applesauce with their eyes on Miss Davina or on your teacher if you're in your classroom. So whoever is speaking um, in your classroom as your teacher, that's who your eyes are to be on. And our voices are quiet and our ears are listening. So I have a little song that will help us remember how we're supposed to sit when we're in circle time. It's called the carpet song and it goes like this. You go ahead and help me sing it and teach it to our new friends. Ready? Are you crisscross? Are you crisscross? Eyes on me. Eyes on me. Listening with my ears. Listening with my ears. Quietly. Quietly. That was really good. Now I think you can help me out and sing a little louder this time. Remember, when we sit in circle time, some of those rules are what? Crisscross. And why are we crisscross? Yes, that's right. That's so that we're not kicking our friends around us and we're not putting our feet on them. And everybody has room for their own space so that they can pay attention to the teacher. Why, why are our eyes watching? Why are your eyes on Miss Davina? Right, so you don't miss what's going on or what I might say or directions I might give. Another one, um, what's something else we have to do? Well, and there's another one. You raised your hand. You did such a great job. Yes, you've already learned that. Wonderful. We're on day three, and you've already learned that one of the uh, most important rules is to raise your hand when you have something to say and wait for the teacher to call on you. That was so great. Give yourselves a great big hug because you learned so much already, and I can't wait to hear how much you learned by the end of kindergarten. So... Raising your hand, what, what is the other thing that you need to do? Our ears need to be listening to the lawnmower outside? No, to the kids playing on the playground? No, what? That's right, they're supposed to be listening to what the teacher is saying or what Miss Davina is saying. And what about our voices? Are our voices supposed to be really loud and talking to the person next to us and yelling across the room? No, they're supposed to be quiet. Why do our voices have to be quiet? So that our friends and neighbors around us can hear 
what the teacher has to say. She might be giving instructions that are very, very important. And if I'm talking, my neighbor next to me might not be able to hear what she says and might miss something important that they need to know. So let's sing that one more time. Ready? Are you crisscross? Are you crisscross? Eyes on me. Eyes on me. Listening with my ears. Listening with my ears. Quietly. Quietly. That was great. Wonderful job. You guys did such a wonderful job at that. I'm so proud of you. So one of the things that we've been going over is in our circle time is our calendar and we're talking about what day it is. Does anyone know what today is? Very good. Today is Thursday. That's right. So if today is Thursday, what was yesterday? Yes. Yesterday was Wednesday. So if yesterday was Wednesday, today is Thursday, what's tomorrow? Oh, raise your hand. Yes. Friday. Tomorrow is Friday. So yesterday was Wednesday, today is Thursday, tomorrow will be Friday. So these are the days of the week. Does anybody remember how many days of the week there are? Yes. Right. There are seven days in the week. So we'll go ahead and we'll sing our today song. Ready? Here we go. Today is Thursday. Today is Thursday. All day long. All day long. Yesterday was Wednesday. Tomorrow will be Friday. Let's have fun. Let's have fun. Again. Today is Thursday. Thursday, today is Thursday, all day long, all day long. Yesterday was Wednesday, tomorrow will be Friday. Let's have fun, let's have fun. So can you tell me what yesterday was? Right, yesterday was Wednesday. So if yesterday was Wednesday, what's today? Thursday, and if that's if today is Thursday, what will tomorrow be? Friday. Very good. Good job. That was excellent. So, can anyone now raise your hand? Don't just call out. No, don't raise your hand until I ask the question and you think you know the answer. Can anyone tell me the names of the days of the week? Okay, go ahead. You answer. Ready? Everybody else, give them a chance. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Very good. That was excellent. How many days again? Seven days in the week. Let's count from one to seven. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven days in the week. Let's sing our, our Days of the Week song. You guys know this. And remember, if you can't snap your fingers, it's okay. You can snap your fingers. You can pretend to snap. Clap your hands. Pat your lap. Stomp your feet. And go ahead and stand up. Get your wiggles out. Shake, 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 shake. Stay in your spot, though, so you don't step on each other's toes and hit each other. So we're going to sing our days of the week. And remember, you can snap your fingers, stomp your feet, clap your hands, whatever you want to do. And we'll sing it through twice. Days of the week. 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 There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday. Days of the week. Days of the week, 
Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. Who can tell me what Miss Davina did by mistake? That's right, I pointed at the wrong spot. Let's try that again, ready? Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. There's Sunday and there's Monday, there's Tuesday and there's Wednesday, there's Thursday and there's Friday, and then there's Saturday. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. That was wonderful. Oh, you guys did such a fantastic job. Have a seat back down, crisscross, applesauce, eyes on Miss Davina. Oh, I'm so excited. You can come so far. We're only on day number three, and you are already learning the routine. You're doing such a wonderful job of playing kindergarten. You'll be so ready for kindergarten once it starts. The teacher won't even know what to do. So, what month are we in? Who knows what month we're in? Yes, we are in August, the month of August. And how many months are there in the year, in a year? Can anybody tell me? Right, there's 12 months in the year. Let's count them, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve months in the year. Yes. So let's go ahead and sing that song. Twelve months in the year. Ready? January, February, March, and April, May, June, July, and August, September, October, November, December. Twelve months in the year. Again. January, February, March, and April, May, June, July, and August, September, October, November, December, 12 months in the year. Very good. Give you guys a, yourselves a big clap. You did wonderful with that. We'll go ahead and we'll count from 1 to 12 using sign language too. Ready? 1, 2, Three. Who remembers why this is a three in sign language? That's right, because this is W. So in sign language, when we count, we do this for a three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. What's ten? Thumb up and shake it. Eleven, twelve. Twelve months in the year. That was really good. And you guys will be so smart and know you'll already know the months of the year, the days of the week. The, the teacher just won't know what to do. She'll say, I don't even need to teach you. You already know what you need to learn. I'm just teasing you. But she'll, she'll be very impressed that you have such a head start because you came to play, K. So if today is Thursday... And we're in the month of August. Does anybody remember what day in August today is? Not not the day Thursday, but the number, the day. It's August. Oh, that's close. Try again. Good job. Today is August 6th. What year are we in? 2020. Two, zero, Two zero so two thousand and twenty or twenty twenty. So today is Thursday, August sixth, two thousand and twenty. Wonderful. So if it's August, what season are we in? Remember, we've been talking about the seasons, it's that time of year where the weather changes, and there's how many in the year? There are four seasons. And what are the seasons? Does anybody remember what season we're in? You're close. 
You're close. So hold on to that. Keep your hands from... We'll, we'll come back to that question, and we'll sing our season song first. And let's see if you can figure it out. And we're going to let him have a chance to answer first, just in case. Ready? Here we go. Winter, spring, summer, fall, there are seasons for in all. Look outside and you will see it is summer, yes siree. Very good, you got it! Ready? Winter, spring, summer, fall, there are seasons for in all. Look outside and you will see it is summer, yes siree. So it is summer. So what's the weather like in summer? Do we get snow and and really cold wind and we have to wear our our winter heavy heavy coats and big boots and mittens and gloves? No, what's the weather like? Well, sometimes the weather is all different things depending on where you are, but here in Pennsylvania, we have a way to t we can tell that what t what the weather's like, don't we? We can look outside and kind of check and see if you have a thermometer. You can tell if the number's real high or real low. Um, you might not be able to read it yet, but you can ask mom or dad what it says. But what I want everybody to do right now is we're going to sing a Weather Watcher song. And you go out and look out your window or out your door, at the, out the window, and see what the weather's like. And when we're done singing it the second time through, you tell me and all of our friends here with us today what the weather's like where you are and Miss Davina will tell everyone what the weather's like here. Ready? Weather watcher, weather watcher, what do you see? What do you see? Tell us what the weather's like, tell us what the weather's like, won't you please? Won't you please? Ready again. Weather watcher, weather watcher, what do you see? What do you see? Tell us what the weather's like, tell us what the weather's like, won't you please? Won't you please? And remember, this is please in sign language. So, what's the weather like where you are? Wow! That's really nice. Today we have partly cloudy, partly sunny. So I'm going to put them both there because it's kind of a little bit of mixture of both. And it's still hot and, and kind of sticky outside, but it is partly cloudy and partly sunny. And I think it's supposed to get sunnier as the day goes on. But for me, where I am today, it's partly cloudy and partly sunny. So where you are, it might be different. Whatever, Depending on the day you actually watch this, it may be different weather for you. That was wonderful. You guys are really good at this. So we have today is Thursday, August 6th, 2020 or 2020. We're in the season of summer and the weather is partly cloudy, partly sunny. You guys are so good at that. That's wonderful. So, today we have a different topic. The last two times we've met, we've had the topic of, what was the first week? Right, transportation. We learned that great big long word and the word vehicle. And then the last time we talked, we talked about what? Our homes and that everybody may have different kinds of homes and that they're all important. And today we're going to talk about the fact that where we live, our homes and other things, when we are in a spot where we're all together, that's called community. And that's another big word. It's the word community. And community means the area where people live together in close to each other in the same area. They may not live in the same house, but they live in the same area. They all go to the same different, there's different stores and schools and churches and things in their community. And they may not all go to the same ones, but they go to the ones in their community. 
So we are going to talk about the word community. And one of those stores that we have in our community is called the grocery store or the supermarket. Some of you go to Walmart. Some of you go to Target. Some of you go to Giant or Weiss Markets. I like to go to the farmer's market. That's my favorite place to go for the for a lot of my fresh fruits and vegetables and, and different things that I buy. So I go to a couple different stores. But the we're going to talk about where our food comes from and how important it is when we run out of something to what? To make a list when we go to the store so we don't forget what we need to pick up. I know Miss Davina has to make a list because if I don't make a list, I forget what I need and then I get home and... I got everything but what I was out of at home. So that's why lists are really important. So the, the book I have for us today is called Put It On The List. And it's by Kristen Darbyshire. What kind of this little little birds? They look kind of like, like chicks or birds of some sort. I'm not sure what kind they are. But ready? Here we go. Put It On The List by Kristen Darbyshire. No more cereal. Oh man. Uh oh. Mom says put it on the list. Uh oh, that doesn't look like cereal. That looks like pony. I see on the grocery list it says lima beans, peanut butter, zucchini, pony. I don't see cereal on the list. But we always forget and we run out of everything. We run out of orange juice, shampoo, baby carrots, zucchini, bananas, baby food, dead shaving cream, paper towels, tea bags, yogurt, lettuce, tissues, oh my, printer paper, tomatoes, soap, bread, broccoli, tuna fish, light bulbs, ice cream, and everything else. <sighs> so on Monday, we had pancakes, but no syrup. Oh my goodness, what did they put on it instead? Ketchup! Ugh, my son would like that. He loves ketchup on everything. On Tuesday, we had toothbrushes, but no toothpaste. Mom, chickens don't have teeth. Oh, they're chickens. Now we know. And look, oh, look at her, look at her robe. What color is that robe? It's purple, Miss Davina's favorite color. On Wednesday, we had cookies. What kind of cookies are those? Mm-mm, homemade chocolate chip cookies, but... Oh man, no milk. Cookies just don't taste right with a glass of water, do they? Oh, as much as I like water, I don't think I'd want them with my cookies. On Thursday, Mom took a trip to the store. Let's follow. She went all the way through here, all through the store, wound around all the way through, and then she checked out. She got toothpaste, syrup, zucchini, and milk. Uh-oh, something's missing in that bowl. But no cereal. Oh, cereal? I just went to the store, said Mom. Oh. So on Friday, we had lima beans but no napkins. So now I don't know where to hide those lima beans. Oh man. On Saturday, that was the day that mom flipped out. It was boo-boo, no band-aid, wet baby, no diaper, macaroni, no cheese. Peanut butter, no jelly. What are they going to do? I don't even want to talk 
about the toilet paper. Mom! Uh-oh. Who's ready for peanut butter and pickled grub macaroni casserole? Do they look very happy? Uh-uh. They're like, ooh, yuck. So, Sunday was the day that we made some new plans. To start with, no more pickled grubs. We use the grocery list all the time. Syrup, cereal, napkins, band-aids, diapers, cheese, toilet paper, OJ, pony. I don't think he's going to get that pony, even if he keeps putting it on the list. We help with the shopping. Oh my, look at all that stuff. Uh-oh. <sighs> he dropped the oranges. And in the case of an emergency... We order pizza. Yum. That looks delicious. And we like pizza a lot at my house. I like my fruits and vegetables, but my son loves his pizza. So put it on the list the next time you run out of something. Put it on the list. Keep the We keep a grocery list on our refrigerator at home, and a lot of people do. That way, that when we do run out of something or you use the last of it or you you see you're almost out of something, I either write it on the list or if you can't write yet, let mom know, mom or dad know, and they can write it on the list. So when you run out of peanut butter and you don't have it for your peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, make sure you let mom know that she needs peanut butter. Otherwise, if she gets to the store and doesn't realize she needs it, she might not buy it. So put it on the list. And that's what we were talking about, our grocery stores. Those are some of the places that we buy the stuff that we need to eat, to clean our houses, everything else that we might need. We get them from the grocery store, the department store, the farmer's market, and, and they're all part of our community. There are different things in our community, and our school is part of our community. So, today we learned the word community, and we learned that different buildings, different things, our homes, our friends and neighbors, our schools, our uh, grocery stores, they all make up part of our community. That was really great, and I was so excited to have you here with me again for Play K. We'll go ahead and we'll sing our goodbye song. You help me sing it. Remember how we wave? We wave goodbye like this. It's the same way we wave hello. So, we'll go ahead and we'll sing. Ready? We wave goodbye like this, we wave goodbye like this, we wave goodbye to all our friends, we wave goodbye like this, we clap our hands like this, we clap our hands like this, we clap our hands for all our friends, we clap our hands like this, yay! Great job, and I will see you next time for day four of Play K. Bye!